Hi! <laughs> There's no mic, but it's Nami. Welcome to Mike and Nami Plus. I'm doing my five month pregnancy update. First off, I'll show you my belly because um, I'm sure you wanna see how big it got because it's actually quite getting quite big. So, I don't know if you can see that, but my belly, it has grown some. I'm not wearing pregnancy pants, these are just joggers that I bought from Costco. I'm just wearing these right now. From the front, you can't really tell that I'm pregnant. I just look like I kind of have a belly, but from the side, I'm starting to look quite pregnant. Let's check my measurements. Oh my gosh, I'm actually huge. Waist to my belly button. I'm scared. 34 and a half, 35 inches. And then let's see my hips. Oh, I can't see past my belly. 37 and a half inches. Oh my gosh. I can't fit into my regular pants anymore because I think they're all around 27 to 30 inches. Now, because I'm 37 and a half inches in my pants, I can't wear them. <laughs> this month, my back started hurting. I've had back pain for both my pregnancies. However, I never documented when I actually started to experience the back pain. It's good to know that it's like halfway through five months. I'm starting to get back pain now. I also noticed that my legs are starting to swell. This did happen with my previous pregnancies as well. And it's really uncomfortable. Like my feet swell, my legs swell, and they just feel sore all the time. So I have to make sure to elevate my legs, but I haven't really been doing that. That helped a lot with my previous pregnancies, elevating my legs so that the water retention would drain through my legs since a lot of the blood circulation and water retention can't really flow when you're pregnant. Also, I hear that the additional weight of the baby in the water makes your legs sore just from holding extra weight. So that's also a thing. I think my morning sickness however has gotten a lot better but I'm still experiencing morning sickness so it's a little weird but what I was experiencing before were super abnormalities with my cycle and with my sleep cycle my eating habits lack of water intake and everything was affecting me and so I was nauseous every single moment like every minute I was nauseous and I had chronic severe nausea and chronic headaches like migraines from the fourth week I was pregnant all the way until I was four months so for a full three months I was experiencing this like ridiculous nausea and I tried to take Diclectin which is the medication meant for pregnancy um, for morning sickness and nausea it's supposed to not harm the baby as well it's pharmaceutically certified to be okay to use during pregnancy however I wasn't feeling any better with diclectin so I spoke to my doctor and she said it should be okay for me to take gravel if my morning sickness is really that intense so I took gravel and I took gravel three times a day on Google it does say that it's safe for pregnancy but my family doctor said it's not pharmaceutically recognized as being completely recommended and there haven't been any studies done on the correlation between using gravel and being pregnant and the baby having or lacking birth defects or anything like that. So that's why the doctors and pharmaceuticals recommend Diclectin. However, Diclectin is $100, $120 or so per small little bottle and gravel is like 20. So I personally think it's like a pharmaceutical thing, but it is better to take Diclectin if your body can take it. My body wasn't taking it at all and I was still nauseous so that's why I took gravel. However, I stopped gravel when I started doing acupuncture because my morning sickness was just so severe and I was starting to get double nosebleeds from the gravel and probably many other side effects that I can't see internally in my body. I think I did about a month and a half of acupuncture treatments and it helped and cleared all of my irregularities of my morning sickness and now I do still have morning sickness but not in the the abnormal way that I did before. Now I only get sick when I eat heavy foods like greasy or meaty foods. I'll start to feel nauseous and I'll start to get headaches or migraines when I don't drink enough water. So now I have to drink something like 10 cups of water every day. It's this big water bottle and I drink like three or four of these a day. I keep a straw in here because 
Sipping your water is a lot better than gulping your water. You're not supposed to gulp water because it does weaken your esophagus. You have to sip water so that your esophagus practices um, pushing the water down and pushing food down. If you gulp water, then you force the water down and it weakens your esophagus muscles because they're not practicing pushing the food down themselves. So never gulp your water. I just learned that last month. Drinking with a straw has been helping me, forcing me to sip my water instead of gulping it. But you still have to drink a lot of water. So make sure you're taking in two liters of water. If I don't, then I start to get really bad migraines. And I feel like I'm experiencing like dehydration and malnutrition when I don't eat properly or drink enough water so i've been having to be really conscious of that because when i don't i get really really sick like similar to how i was feeling before no more vomiting though i did have urges to vomit here and there especially when i'm eating like heavy greasy meaty and cheesy foods or smelling it or even looking at it it just ugh. but i haven't actually vomited so i just have to avoid those kind of triggers as well even though I'm done my acupuncture treatments, I might have to start seeing a RMT for registered massage therapy for my back. That's something that I did for my second pregnancy after a car accident and it really helped with my back pains for when I was pregnant with Zeke. So I think this time around I might have to do it as well because I experienced really severe like lower back pain when I'm pregnant and after I give birth too. So Oh, we found out the gender of the baby last week. I did film like a reaction of telling Michael and his reaction to the news. If you would like to see those videos, you can click right here, finding out the gender and also Galahad and Zeke's reaction too, which was kind of cute. And Michael's reaction to the baby's gender. It was really exciting and it's actually the second time we heard the same prediction for our gender. I think that might be it for my update. I'm starting to feel really heavy. Like I already started to feel heavy two months in, three months in, but um, I'm starting to feel really heavy now. <laughs> and it's only gonna get bigger because I'm only halfway, but at the same time, I'm already halfway. So it's kind of crazy. Please let us know if you have any suggestions for any other like pregnancy related uh, videos or any topics that you'd like us to talk about in our regular sit down talk videos as well and if you'd like to stay updated make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so you're notified right when new videos drop i'll see you next time bye